study. Say two things. Is there an ethical dimension to this? Yes. Then you discuss it. Criminal, treated as a criminal enterprise, I can't see that at all. When you've got an army using heavy weapons, taking over dams, threatening to flood you know, valleys and inundate uh, Baghdad and other, I don't think you can deal with that as a, as a uh, criminal enterprise. Fair enough. There always is an ethical dilemma, no matter what human beings do. Yeah, but I'm just going to invoke the ethics of Hippocrates to no harm. Well, there you have, you have a last question. Sorry, yeah, to that, because I think the particularly, you know, thing about that question is that I think we probably all agree that U.S. foreign policy helped create the vacuum um, through which ISIS rose. So that's why we say do no harm. I'm not, I'm not an advocate of intervention, but this is the debate I want to see. Like, take out U.S. interests, just consequences for Iraqi people who are constantly facing threat because of ISIS. What's worse, intervention or not doing anything? And is there, you know, something in between F-18s that's better for them? That's a fruitful way to think about it. Yeah. Well, that's what I, that's what I was struggling at. Maybe, maybe Ron's right. You can't just do it that way. But fine. And as you say, having more tools in the toolkit, short of F-16s and F-18s, is what we need to look at without ruling out everything else. Uh, that's my view. So, um, and, uh, oh, yes, please. I'm sorry if I ignored you. Very, very quick question. Is there a role for the United Nations? Well, see, I said that. that w that's what I was implying, that this would be a criminal activity, a, cr a law enforcement activity under international law through UN agencies providing the overall umbrella to this. Uh, that would make it harder for the Russias to, to oppose it. When, when you come in with brute force, uh, then it looks like American imperialism to many people in the world. And, you know, and I, I think that's just going to have uh, counter effects over time. That'll undo whatever good might be done. That's my fear. That's just my fear. So I do think that finding a, a more of an internationalist response based in law uh, would be a stronger approach. But I think I've kept you too long. And I really, again, thank you for the seriousness with which everybody, all of you, and our panelists approach this. But let's give Ron and...